These are a cool pair of vintage men's mod zip up boots and they sold for 60 bucks. Pretty good. This is a handmade Gabba rug from Iran. Um, it's beautiful. It's small. It's like for a table or a wall hanging. Um, it's 17 inches by 17 inches. Um, I had a pair of these. They were different looking. Uh, the other one sold for 60. I had this one up for, I think, 65, but I took it off for 40. This is a wool shag rug, uh, brand new. Um, we bought this, I think we paid 80 for it because we knew we would get a good price. Um, it's a 3x5 rug. It's a nice size rug for a room. Uh, not a room size rug, but a good kind of area size rug. This sold for a best offer of 250 I had it up for 299 Someone offered 250 um, and I was happy to take it. These are a pair of women's Old Navy brand loafers. They are leather. Not in bad shape. I think I found them pretty cheap at a yard sale or something. And they sold for 25 bucks. This is an Audi racing hat. Pretty rare find. It's got the Audi logo on the back. Sold for $40. These are a set of two sealed Polaroid 600 film cartridges. Ten shots each. Never been used. And this set sold for $36.99. This is a men's small uh, ribbed 100% wool sweater by J. Crew. Nice sweater. Perfect for the fall and winter. And it sold for $35. This is a very nice Rogers stainless steel and wood made in Japan serrated steak knife. Just one knife. I think someone's adding to their collection or they just want a really good steak knife. And it sold all by itself for $15. This is an army style canvas cotton duffel. Um, I do not believe it's actually military issued, uh, but it does look like it. And it sold for a best offer of $35, global shipping. This is a vintage Marlboro brand uh, cigarettes, which I am not a fan of, but it's definitely vintage. Um, it's a duffel from the 90s. It's kind of squished at the moment. Uh, but it sold to someone in global shipping program for $60. So I wanted to show you guys this lamp. Um, it's all taken apart uh, for storage and then for shipping. So this is the photo of it. It is a super 70s lamp. We actually bought it for our farmhouse, but it was just a little bit too hippie, um, a little too funky. So we bought it on eBay for $18 plus $13 shipping, so about $31, um, and we sold it for $75. So that's a pretty good price. We made money on it even though we bought it and didn't end up using it. This is a very cool uh, reproduction from the 70s of an old sign, uh, Temperance. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's made in the USA. It's cast aluminum. And we have three of these, three different ones. And this one sold for $40. These are a set of 10 vintage Hallmark cards that come in the uh, same pattern as the cards. A little fabric box. It's really cool. And actually, this is like real offset printing, if anybody knows the difference. It's kind of a high-quality print. And it came with envelopes. Um, and I've had this for a while, but it did sell for $25. So this is a little wooden covered book. It's blank. I think you can add pages uh, if you fill it up. It says guest log and it says rules of this tavern. And it's like fake old fashioned. Um, it looks like it's from the 70s. And we got this at a yard sale down the street from our house for no more than five bucks. And we sold it for 40 bucks. This is an L.L. Bean vest and shirt set. It's a matching set. You can see it matches because the inside of the vest is the same color as the shirt. Um, it's got these cool buttons, these like shell buttons. 
and it sold for forty dollars this is an 80s united colors of benetton brand men's italian mohair sweater i've had it for a while we took a best offer offer of 30. this is a women's goose down long winter jacket with a hood um, we've also had this for a while and we took a best offer of forty dollars these are a beautiful pair of Talbot's brand um, leather sold looks like they've barely been worn uh, loafers and they sold for 40 bucks this is a very small bottle 0.34 ounces of Miss Dior Christian Dior perfume um, it is brand new never used it's a beautiful bottle um, there's a lot of these online so I'm glad this one sold for $36.99 this is a lovely paint by numbers, um, not framed or anything, and we took a best offer of $50 on this. This is an Italian hand painted wood tray. They call it a Florentine tray. Um, some of these can go for a lot of money if it's a high end brand, but this one is small and it's not a super high end brand. It, the brand is called uh, Legno. I had it up for 29 someone said I would take it for 23 and we sent them an offer through a message and we took 23 These are a couple hats that sold yesterday. This is a Dana Rail Care Division of Dana Container. Uh, this seems kind of random and weird, but I know there are people who are really into trains. So I got this at the thrift store and it sold for 20 bucks. This is another uh, Tam O'Shanter uh, Scottish beret in black watch plaid. Um, it's definitely vintage. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. 42nd black watch made in Scotland, 100% wool. Jay bought a ton of these. As you can see, they've been selling. Um, and this one sold for $40. This is a wool rich jacket, 100% wool. Uh, with suede collar and suede buttons, although some of the buttons are mismatched, but it's still sold for $42. My last two Oktoberfest items sold. These are two skirts. I had them up for $120 each. Someone offered $60 each, so that's $120 for both of them. I paid $5 each, so... 120 was a great price for me, so I'm hoping that they don't return them after Halloween These are a set of vintage 1983 travelers checks um, The sad thing about these is you cannot cash them unless this person signed it over here Now I had a set of these I think I had $90 worth um, another set and the first person paid full value for them. It was a someone for a movie set or something like that. Um, and then this person, let's see, this is this is sixty dollars worth. I just found these in a briefcase, so it's sad I couldn't cash them. But um, I actually took an offer of fifteen dollars because you can't really cash them at all. They're basically worth nothing. Well, I guess they were worth fifteen dollars. This is a vintage bar tool. This is a bottle opener. This is a bunch of recipes that rotates. It's kind of awesome. And then this is to pick up like olives or lemons. Um, you can see it's got a spring. It's a pretty wacky tool. I always get these types of weird tools because people love them for like vintage bars uh, in their houses. And this sold for $30. This is a vintage Jordache uh, rain slicker. It's got the little horse heads inside. It's not reversible, but it's still cool. Um, it does have some marks on the inside, uh, but I think it would wash up. I did wash it, but I think if you used OxyClean, it would get super clean. And this sold for 25 bucks. These are two little signed paintings of churches done in 1982 you can see they're signed um we've had these for a long time and i honestly thought they would never sell so someone gave this offer of ten dollars and i said yes 
And that's it for this week. Bye.